Hello, this is Dan Parisi, Group Editor, Commercial and Security with Emerald. So happy to be joined today by Scott Norder, who is Chief Operating Officer with RGP Spectrum. Topic of conversation is, of course, AV over IP, aligning with our AV over IP deep dive, which will be all over commercialintegrator.com throughout this month, as well as in the March issue of CI plus SSI. We're bringing together all the best, brightest thought leaders from industry-leading companies that are real specialists in AV over IP and just asking for their best thoughts, their best knowledge and analysis about where this industry is going. That's why we brought in Scott, and we're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you very much. I'm uh, glad to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. I I was going to say, as I say, we're bringing together thought leaders, and the reason we brought you in is we'd love to get just your top-line view of where is AV over IP going? What are some of the trends you're seeing? What are you, you feeling out there in the marketplace as it comes to AV over IP? Well, I think the first trend we're seeing is that our customer base is very interested in doing more with the content that is entering the AV over IP ecosystem. And when I say more, they would like to record it. They would like to replay it. They would like to send it out uh, to remote users who are maybe not on the same network by mobile or reference link or something like that. And we've at RGB Spectrum, we've actually uh, been focusing on how we enable that. We've brought out uh, some uh, products that are specifically focused on the recording and replay of content that's in our Zio ecosystem. And our Zio ecosystem is actually quite open. So anything that's H.264 uh, can be brought into the Zio environment and then recorded and replayed using our recording and media server. Uh, and, and all of that content can then be sent out to mobile users through our mobile apps. Uh, so if you are you know, on the spot at a soccer stadium and you want to see some information from the past that, that someone con- uh, has stored for you uh, from, from the security tapes or something, you could certainly do that, have that pushed directly to you at that soccer stadium so that you could go around and see what's, what's actually happening from a security standpoint. Um, I think that the second important trend is the question uh, that people are asking about how does AI impact uh, what we're doing with the content sources and the destinations for the content for AV over IP content? You know, once that once that digitized video is in the system, what more can we do with it? And how can AI, AI help us? with uh, image recognition, pattern matching, uh, facial recognition, uh, text identification, text extraction, uh, prediction, you know, what might happen next? If the, have we seen these patterns before? Are we seeing a surge? Are we seeing a, a, a reduction in motion or content or uh, activity? Uh, so I think those are really two of the, the big things that we're, we're taking a look at that we've seen as trends in the AVI over IP uh, adoption and exploration and distribution. Yeah, I, I think you're exactly right, Scott. And certainly AI in particular is something we keep hearing everything about, you know, certainly in the context of AV over IP, but of course, just broadly, people trying to understand how can we leverage this? How can we marshal this? What are the benefits? What are the risks? You talk about RGB spectrum, for example, in, in your previous answer, uh, recording, replay technology. Do you want to continue to talk a little bit about the products you're releasing and how those products align with or amplify or resonate with some of the trends that you've identified already? Oh, absolutely. And I think the starting with the recording and media server, uh, which we we launched uh, within the last six months, uh, we've been in the recording and replay business uh, on the military side for a couple of decades. I mean, we've been doing AV over IP for that long. Uh, and specifically with the opportunity in simulators to record content, store it, and then replay it for action a- after action review. But we found that there is a market for it in general purpose mechanisms where uh, uh, customers, specifically the end users, are looking for ways to 
have the system remember things that have happened and they can be triggered by an event, they can be triggered by an alarm, but then a recording process happens of one of the video streams or multiple of the video streams that are in the system that are associated with that trigger. So we see process control, for instance, needing to get a visual verification and save that visual verification if there's an alarm on a, a circuit or a valve or a, a trigger event from a security system that's related to uh, one of the process control elements uh, could be a temperature sensor or something like that. And once you have that recorded uh, content, then the next time that trigger happens, you could go back and you can compare those two images and see if it's the same kind of fault, which might indicate that you've got a systemic problem you need to address versus a one-off activity. Uh, so there are many applications, that's just one of many applications where that recording of that content uh, comes into play. And I think the other uh, thing that I mentioned was our, our mobile applications. We have mobile applications for iOS and Android that allow you to push or pull content from the AV over IP system. Uh, you can push and pull live streams or recorded content to any mobile user on either an Android or iOS application. Uh, uh, device. Um, so we're uh, really expanding the way that users can interact with content that is in an AV over IP environment within a corporation, within a campus, uh, and then extending that out into the, into the world. Well, as I said, Scott, the whole reason for this AV over IP deep dive is to bring together the brightest thought leaders from the leading companies. As you say, RGB Spectrum is certainly no newcomer to AV over IP. You've added a lot of value just in this conversation. For those who want to learn more about RGB Spectrum, it's AV over IP leadership, it's technologies. What's the best way they can learn more and perhaps engage with, with what you're doing as far as being an AV over IP leader? Oh, absolutely. I think step number one is to visit our website you know, www.rgb.com. Uh, there you can learn about the products. Uh, we have some design guide information that help you can un to help you understand what's happening. But we also have a link uh, to our training so that a, an individual can take training on how our products work, uh, specifically in the AV over IP uh, environment and how they work together. Uh, furthermore, you can reach out to us through live chat uh, uh, to get a one-on-one -on -one conversation about how your needs might map into the solutions that we have to offer and how we can bring value to expand what you're thinking about uh, to be future-proof. Uh, it's a, a, use, a word that's bandied, or a term that's bandied about a lot. Uh, but in reality, I think it is something that's important. How do you select the right technology platforms, the right technology solutions, so that the things you build today can be expanded into tomorrow without doing a, a, a rip and replace. And that's the hallmark of what RGB Spectrum has been doing is continuing to build on existing platforms. Our technology runs virtually forever. Uh, we're known for having products that are out in the field for a very, very long time. And they can be upgraded with uh, firmware updates to add new features and functionality as time goes by. Uh, but they can learn about us through all those ways, web, uh, chat, take our training, uh, come see us at a trade show. Uh, we're doing about 80 different events this year. So we're going to be out there where, where we expect our customers to be. Uh, so any of those are, are great ways to reach out to us. 80 different events. Boy, I look forward to checking out what RGB Spectrum is doing at all the different events I'll see you at over the course of the, the coming months. But I want to thank you so much, Scott, for educating me, but much more importantly, educating our audience about RGB Spectrum and its leadership. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Dan. I really appreciate the opportunity. Good to see you again. Likewise, my pleasure to have been joined by Scott Norder, who is Chief Operating Officer with RGB Spectrum. My name is Dan Farisi, Group Editor, Commercial and Security with Emerald. As I said at the outset, please do check out commercialintegrator.com throughout the month of March for more AV over IP content from leaders like RGB Spectrum. And please check out the March issue of CI plus SSI, which will have our in-depth AV over IP deep dive. We hope to see you again soon, and thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,